What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here and we've got a fun video for you today. You guys said you wanted to see more Phil and Nick. So that's why today I've sabotaged this PC and we're gonna see whether or not they can actually find all nine items that are wrong with this computer, keeping it from scoring where it should. I found one. And to make things interesting, we've got money on the line. Oh, oh, I didn't know that part. <laughs> okay. Wait, how are we gonna compete with me and Nick? You guys are a team. Oh. oh. We'll go over the rules right after this. The inventor of NAND flash memory that changed life as we knew it, Kioxia is a leading provider of flash memory and SSDs. Kioxia offers a line of innovative NVMe SSDs for many environments, including mobile compute, high performance gaming PCs, and hyperscale and enterprise data centers. Leading edge PCIe Gen 4 performance SSDs for AMD Epic and Intel Xeon based servers with PCIe 4.0 technology offer extreme speeds with unparalleled reliability, making Kioxia the obvious choice for those who demand excellence for any use case. To see everything that Kyoxia America has to offer, follow the sponsored link in the description below. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items on this computer that have been sabotaged. This is that computer I built with the Micro Center slash AMD sponsorship uh, build. So those nine items are each worth five bucks. So the total of those are 45 bucks. $55 are dependent on whether or not you can get your Cinebench 23 score within the 27,900-ish range, and your heaven score within the 1900 range. Now the heaven settings are gonna be set to ultra, 4K, extreme tessellation, and 8X AA. Everything that's wrong with this computer ranges from somebody that's never touched a computer can figure it out to you better pull out your bag of tricks. <laughs> so, all right. I'm gonna go behind the camera. These guys are the stars of today's video, and I may or may not heckle along the way. Okay, well, I'm gonna write down RAM. Yeah. <laughs> RAM unseated. <laughs> Dude, it's like it's That's installed just like any new wood. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> DDR4 is hard to push. Can we see. I like how it was the closest one next to the. Uh. I'm gonna double check <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure. Phil, how do you do this? My arms are already tired. <laughs> <laughs> like, Shoulder day, bro. It's been like uh, three. USB. Three uh, bobo cable unplugged. Ew, you use an iPhone. Hey, oh my god. <laughs> How does this. This Jeez. is a, this is a no new problem. No one skips oh. arm day in this studio. Look at this guy. Look at this, Look at this tricep gun. What? You register those? Oh. No. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I took the test though. Fan, that's good. That's exactly. good. Nice. This is front panel. That's why he wanted us to do a test boot because it wouldn't have even booted. Okay, so that's the front panel. That's three. I'm gonna <laughs> fire it up. Hopefully it doesn't catch fire. How come the bottom fans aren't spinning? Good call. Check the RAM settings. See if the uh, XMP's off, because it probably is. V cores on auto. Yeah, XMP's disabled. What has happened? What? Oh. What? <laughs> Where? How? Hold on. Oh, hey, cool. <laughs> it, popped, yeah. it just popped out. <laughs> Yay. Ram's all good. Okay, cool. So I think physically we might be close unless you see some weird temperature thingy. Wait, wait, wait. actually go to boot and then... Oh, you're right. Because if it was, it would show up if it was in boot override, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, that's the problem right here. You didn't align this thing. Duh. You said temps look good, right? So, we don't dude, do <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I'm almost there. Um, that's a swap. Do you know you have a mole above your right eye? What? That's Did you right know eye. you have a mole on your cheek? Did you know you're a bit? <laughs> it is my my little dainty, my dainty little hands. Yeah. With my metal watch, it's gonna scratch the GPU more. What did you do? Why is it misaligned? Okay, so we got the NVMe installed, which means it should boot into Windows. Maybe I should turn fast boot. Okay, well, cool. We booted into Windows. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in. <laughs> Where's the stupid things for the 50? <laughs> That's an insult. <laughs> right here, actually, let's let's all. Jeez, this zoom ring is so stretched out. I... <laughs> what have you been doing to this thing? I don't know. I just I'm kind of rough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she said she liked it. 
Um, wow. <laughs> let's just check Cinebench right now. R23. <clears throat> I mean, the other code it's reading out is F8. Fate. <laughs> fate of the... F fate of the computius. Fate of the sabotage. Fate <laughs> the sabius. Well, there's your problem. Touch. Power supply is too quiet. I feel like this is running slow for a... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is, this is running slow for a 5950. Yeah, that's not 16 cores or 32 threads. Hmm. It's six cores. I hate this. I hate this bio so much. <clears throat> what does this even mean? See, okay, that's sneaky and that's extra sneaky with this motherboard because who the heck calls it down core control? What? Gigabyte. <sighs> Wake up, lad. Oh, I figured it out. Okay. See if we have all of our processors. That's more like a 50 out of 50 X. We're going fast. 25, okay, so we're 2,000 points short. Uh, yeah, throw it in creator mode. Uh, hit apply down at the bottom. 28. Oh, cool, okay, well that's good because we beat it. <laughs> <laughs> I only have eight problems listed and we beat the Cinebench score, so let's see heaven. Yes, we fixed the refresh rate. Yeah, was that, was that a problem? Oh. Yeah, because he said 50. <laughs> <laughs> it happens so often that I don't even consider it a problem. I just consider it people that bought a high refresh rate monitor that don't know that they did, because Windows is dumb and should set that by default, so. Stupid Microsoft. Hey, Mac OS sets it by default uh, to the highest refresh rate, just saying. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> the irony, because you can't play any games on Mac OS. Okay, so we have eight problems. We need one last one. 1653, that sounded low. low. I don't remember what the number was. 1900. Okay. Wait, did you see what the FPS was? 60.5. It was very close to 60. Mm-hmm. It wasn't hitting over. See if you can find an FPS limiter in the uh, in the software. Wait, where is the frame limiter? See, I, I know where the frame limiter is in frickin' GeForce, exp or GeForce, exp GeForce drivers, but uh, let me let me jump in real quick. Let me let me fiddle around in the settings. <clears throat> Let's see if he messed around with it in uh, Riva Tuner OSD. Wait, oh, it's not even installed. Okay, so <laughs> that probably. <laughs> Wait, was this? Did you start that, or was it already open? It was already open. So maybe we have to close it. It could be a conflicting program, because. Look, it's running its own clocks as well versus Ryzen Master. Oh, good call. Yeah. Okay, so the core clock was set lower right there because I hit... Yeah, it was set 500 megahertz lower. Yeah, okay, cool. Was that a problem? That might be a problem. Did I trick? Wait until you run the scores. And let me disable that. I figured it out. And then let me close <laughs> this. Yeah, good catch. You need smile again. I want to get that on camera. Make happy. Yeah, because because he figured out a problem. Nailed it. <laughs> His eyes are wide open. It's cheating. What? Overclocking the GPU to get the scores cheating? It's you legit. were underclocking yeah. the GPU to sabotage it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the thing about when you have to think about troubleshooting stuff like this is are your fixes specific to the hardware itself or are your fixes a procedural fix you know what i mean like this is a fix that would apply to any piece of hardware that's in that specific role you know what i mean and so things like the nvme being unplugged obviously that's not a performance thing that's just like is it in or not and is it working or not i but, did not win it because it got me yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Ooh, look we're actually using electricity <laughs> <laughs> you should put a gigabyte power supply in here. That would have been a really funny 10th problem. I, I think I've just been watching Jay enough when he troubleshoots his builds to know that, oh, it's probably MSI a program. Afterburner. Or yeah, it could be a program. Well, I mean, we use MSI Afterburner for everything, which is, because yeah. it's good. Is it on 24 or 25? I don't know, let me see. It's on number 25. <laughs> okay. We're getting 74 FPS. <laughs> 
Freaking 4K scaling. Big money, big money. I like the music in Superposition better. 18. Right, 1883. Oh, we're still off. 20 points lower than 1900. 20 points lower, and that's within margin there. Okay. Yay. Did we, are we still missing a problem? We have nine problems on the board. MSI Afterburner was the last one. Yeah, you got all the problems. You got the and, unseated. And for the audience, you're about 45 minutes in. Oh, okay. that's not bad. That, that actually doesn't. That's not too bad. So uh, our nine problems that we found were the RAM was unseated. Or USB, one stick of RAM was unseated. USB 3 was unplugged. USB 3 was not plugged in. Front, Front panel. Yep. Bottom fan array. Uh, NVMe was not plugged in at all. <laughs> yeah. And frame rates were stuck at 50. Yeah, refresh rate. Yeah, yeah. The refresh rate of the monitor was set to 50. Uh, 10 cores were disabled. Yeah. I'm only laughing because from this angle, it looks like you guys are cuddling. Because look at Vic's arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, take me to you dinner You went 80, first. I went 20. I want a steak. I want like an expensive, like, Fleming's or like. Hey, what are you doing after this? Ruth Chris. <laughs> Yeah, Ruth's Chris. <laughs> and MSI Afterburner was uh, set to auto start on Windows, which is really sneaky because he hid the icon in the system tray too. I forgot so. to remove the icon from the desktop. What you guys don't realize is how much time it took me to actually figure out what percentage of underclock would make it look like VSeq was on. Yeah, so that, that was smart because you did. That was a good red herring because you saw me follow that. You were, I was like, oh, it's exactly 60. That's weird. That was a good fill targeted problem because I limit all of my games because uh, for the G-Sync latency, yeah. I always have a set, a set limit, like a different limit for each game too. So I was like, oh crap, I don't know in the AMD driver where the heck the frame rate limiter is. And then I saw that it was off and I was like, what? <laughs> That's strange. Yeah, I don't limit myself. And then it was funny because I went all the way to like, oh, maybe he's limiting it in RTSS, which I opened MSI Afterburner and Nick was like, wait a sec, MSI was on? I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> so RAM was unseated, USB cable was unplugged, front panel wasn't plugged, bottom fan array wasn't plugged, the power, but not the RGB. Um, NVMe. NVMe. I was hoping that the RGB being on but not spinning would throw you off for a while. <laughs> Nick caught that immediately. <laughs> um, 10 cores were disabled, XMP was off, refresh rate was set to stupid Europe Hertz, and <laughs> MSI Afterburner was enabled and underclocking the GPU. Uh, and our score to beat on Cinebench was 27,900, and we got a 28 you to 74. Beat, you had to be within the range of. And then our heaven score to beat was uh, 1,900, and then we got an 1,883, which is yeah. within. Again, you didn't have to beat, you just had to be in the. Be in the range of it, yeah. We got close right. enough. So that's points. 45 plus 55. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yay. That's, that's how math works. Dang, Nick, like, you didn't feels, get any? It feels like I'm taking We're goals. a team, bro. Hey, are you taking me to stake at least? Okay. It happened again. Every time. <laughs>